President Nangagwa has hailed Mr. Sirazani Butau for heroically saving lives at an accident scene in Mutar on Friday, saying the government will honor him for the sacrifice. Mr. Butau, a truck driver, was not involved in the accident, but hastily rushed to assist more than half a dozen people out of the bus that caught fire after colliding with a fuel tanker. He even had tried to rescue his colleague, the tanker driver. A crowdfunding initiative by local Zimbabweans on social media is in motion to assist the accident hero. In a message on his micro blogging Twitter page, President Nangagwa said the government will honor Mr. Butau for his sacrifice. Let me take this opportunity to appreciate Sirazani Butau who saved people from the Muter accident. As government we will honor him for his selfless sacrifice. The family of Mr. Butau has been overwhelmed by the empathy from citizens who have made financial contributions towards his medical bills. This comes as Mr. Butau's Ika Cash number has since received its weekly transactional limit as members of the public jostled to send money. In a brief interview on his hospital bed, Mr. Butau said he was humbled by the public's overwhelming response. I am humbled by the response. It is something that I never expected. My preoccupation on the day was to help and unfortunately got injured in the process, but I'm doing well, said Mr. Butau. Commenting on his husband's heroic act, Mrs. Wadzenai Butau said she never expected that her husband would overnight be touted as a superhero. It's quite humbling. I wish I could be able to do the same to others in need, she said. Mrs. Butau said she received a phone call from her husband informing her that he was injured while rescuing passengers. My husband is a truck driver. On this day he was traveling from Bera to Zambia. When he called I intended to travel that night but he dissuaded me from doing so. I traveled the following day with some relatives to Muter, where by then he had been admitted in hospital. We requested the medical doctors to discharge him so that he will be treated in Kadoma where we reside, because his continued stay in Muter would have taken a toll on us in terms of accommodation and other related costs, said Mrs. Butau who is a mother of three. At the moment we are in Kadoma at a private hospital where he is being treated. He is recovering well. Dot pictures of a scalded truck Mr. Butau in hospital almost broke the internet over the weekend as they inundated various social media platform. Apparently, he was driving another truck when he identified one of the vehicles that had been involved in the fatal crash. Despite facing imminent danger, Butau chose to risk his life to save his fellow countrymen. Five people died in the accident, while 60 were sent to Victoria Chitepo Hospital for treatment after sustaining injuries.